Well, boy, it's been party time in Manchester. Goodness gracious me. Friends of mine that were there said night after night, into the small hours, the Tory party were out celebrating in style. Um, and there's Michael Gove dancing again, this time with Tom Tugendhat. And, uh, yeah, Mr Gove, who does seem to really rather enjoy the high life, doesn't he? Um, and this all, of course, a prelude to Boris Johnson himself uh, and Boris uh, coming into the hall today, uh, walking in through the back and shaking the hands of the delegates and, and everybody looking really very jolly, very happy, quite reserved, but then it is the Conservative Party, but definitely an upbeat feeling and an upbeat mood. So, yes, Boris was bullish, boosterish. He was, in fact, very Boris Johnson. It's kind of what he does well. A speech um, full of jokes, whether you like the jokes or not, he was actually making jokes. Uh, he was upbeat. He was really quite patriotic, I thought, in terms of the tone that he struck today. Uh, and I must say, some of the narrative that is coming from the Prime Minister uh, I thought was remarkable. I mean, to hear, we must end the addiction to cheap imported foreign labour and upskill the British workforce. Wow! I thought this was a UKIP conference circa 2011, so I can't complain about that particular narrative. And, yes, he's boasting about wages going up, wages are rising, workers are doing far better, uh, and it's because of Brexit and because of reduced immigration into the country. Well as the biggest Brexiteer you could ever possibly meet, I wish all of that was true. Yes, of course, uh, there's been less cheap foreign labour flooding into the country, particularly during the pandemic, and yes, that's helped. But do I really believe that this Prime Minister is going to reduce net migration to the United Kingdom over the course of the next few years? No, I don't for one moment. And, in fact, the truth of it is, all through his career, Boris Johnson has been very relaxed about immigration numbers and even, when he was Mayor of London, suggested a mass amnesty for all those that had come into the country illegally. But maybe we can forgive him, uh, feeling happy. It was, of course, the Conservatives' first conference since they won the election back in December 2019. But when it comes to the economics of the situation we're in, frankly, I thought much of what Boris Johnson said today was bordering on the delusional. He didn't even once, in the entirety of his speech, mention the I-word, inflation. Inflation, that disease of money that is now back in the system, and as history teaches us, once it's there, it's not that easy to get rid of. And that's the real reason that wages are going up. It's the reason we've got shortages. There is more money in the system chasing the same amount of goods. We have rocketing commodity prices and natural gas today hitting yet another high for this year. The oil price, $80 plus. We have rocketing commodity prices. We have wage inflation. And it's astonishing in a way to hear a Conservative Prime Minister praising wage inflation when it's the very thing uh, that helped to bring down the Conservative government back in the 1970s and caused them so much pain in the early part of the 1980s. So nothing about inflation, but even more extraordinarily, when it comes to the cost of living, because it's all well and good, your pay packet going up, but if your outgoings go up by a faster rate than that, you're not better off, you're worse off. And indeed, a think tank today has produced some numbers suggesting that the average family of four is going to be nearly £2,000 a year worse off just due to the cost of inflation and household bills, and that's before the tax increases kick in in a few months' time. Now, Boris Johnson made this incredible pledge. He said, we are going to cut the cost of living. But doing that in an inflationary environment is pretty much impossible, and doing that when you've committed the country to ending all fossil fuel use in the generation of electricity by 30, 2035 is completely and utterly impossible. So, in conclusion from this week at Manchester, yes, it was a good performance 
by the Prime Minister. And it's nice to see some optimism, I agree. But I think the partying and the optimism um, of the conference of the Prime Minister today is out of touch with where millions of people in this country are. There's so much in this country that, frankly, isn't working uh, that I think Boris Johnson's optimism has been wide of the mark. So please, let me know what you think about that view. How did you view Boris Johnson's speech today? Let me know. GBviews at gbnews.uk.